O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The First Book of Kings, Chapter 18 Sometime later, in the third year of the famine, the Lord told Elijah, Go, make an appearance before Ahab, that I may send rain on the surface of the ground. So Elijah went to make an appearance before Ahab. Now the famine was severe, severe in Samaria, so Ahab summoned Obadiah, who supervised the palace. Now Obadiah was a very loyal follower of the Lord. And while Jezebel was killing the Lord's prophets, Obadiah took one hundred prophets and hid them in two caves in two groups of fifty, and he brought them food and water. Ahab told Obadiah, 
go through all the land to the springs and the valleys. Maybe we can find some grazing areas that we may keep the horses and mules alive and not to have to kill some of the animals. They divided up the land between them. Ahab went one way and Obadiah went the other. As Obadiah was travelling along, Elijah met him, and when he recognised him, he fell face down on the ground and said, Is it really you, my master, Elijah? He replied, Yes. Go, tell your master, Elijah is back. Obadiah said, But what sin have I committed that you are ready to hand your servant over to Ahab for execution? As certainly as the Lord your God lives, my master has sent to every nation and kingdom in an effort to find you. When they say he is not here, he makes them swear an oath that they could not find you. And now you say, go and say to your master, Elijah is back. But when I leave you, the Lord's Spirit will carry you away, so I will not be able to find you. If I go and tell Ahab I've seen you, he won't be able to find you and he will kill me. And that would not be fair, because your servant has been a loyal follower of the Lord since my youth. Certainly my master is aware of what I did when Jezebel was killing the Lord's prophets. I hid one hundred of the Lord's prophets in two caves, in two groups of fifty, and I took them food and water. Now you say, Go, tell your master, Elijah is back, but he will kill me. But Elijah said, As certainly as the Lord who rules over all lives, whom I serve, I will make an appearance before him today. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 8. Then Jesus said to those Judeans who had believed him, If you continue to follow my teaching, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. We are the descendants of Abraham, they replied, and have never been anyone's slaves. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, I tell you the solemn truth, everyone who practices sin is a slave of sin. The slave does not remain in the family forever, but the son remains forever. So if the son sets you free, you will truly be free. I know that you are Abraham's descendants, but you want to kill me because my teaching makes no progress amongst you. I am telling you the things that I have seen while I have been with the Father. As far as you, for you are concerned, practice the things you have heard from the Father. They answered, Abraham is our father. Jesus replied, If you are Abraham's children, you would be doing the deeds of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me a man who has told you the truth I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You people are doing the deeds of your father. Then they said to Jesus, We were not born as a result of immorality. We have only one father, God himself. Jesus replied, If God were your father, you would love me. For I have come from God and am now here. I have not come on my own initiative, but he has sent me. Why don't you understand what I am saying? It is because you cannot accept my teaching. You people are from your father the devil, and you want to do what your father desires. He was a murderer from the very beginning and does not uphold the truth because there is no truth in him. Whenever he lies, he speaks according to his own nature, because he is a liar and the father of lies. But because I am telling you the truth, you do not believe me. Who among you can prove me guilty of any sin? If I am telling you the truth, why don't you believe me? The one who belongs to God listens and responds to God's words. You don't listen and respond, because you don't belong to God. 
the Judeans replied, would we not be correct in saying that you are a Samaritan, are possessed by a demon? Jesus answered, I am not possessed by a demon, but I honour my father, and yet you dishonour me. I am not trying to find praise for myself. There is one who demands it, and he also judges. I tell you the solemn truth, if anyone obeys my teaching, he will never see death. Then the Judeans responded, Now we know you're possessed by a demon. For both Abraham and the prophets died, and let you say, If anyone obeys my teaching, he will never experience death. You aren't greater than our father Abraham who died, are you? And the prophets who died too, who do you claim to be? If I glorify myself, my glory is worthless, Jesus replied. The one who glorifies me is my father, about whom you say, he is our God. And yet you do not know him, but I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I obey his teaching. Your father Abraham was overjoyed to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then the Judeans replied, But you are not yet fifty years old. How can you possibly have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, I tell you the solemn truth, before Abraham came into existence, I am. Then they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself from them and went out from the temple area. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always that which is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day. Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds, and words, when unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day, and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour. Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants, throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.